Hello everyone, welcome back to Pharma Tribe. Hope all are doing great and safe and enjoying the Sunday. So, I am back with college admission, review and college experience of various pharmacy college across India. So, today we are going to have a discuss about the NSFU college and today we have Riti ma'am. She will be sharing her experience at the campus. So, let's wait for the ma'am to join in. Hope all are doing great. And the MVAM procedure for the colleges has been started. So hope all has given the best colleges according to their goals and the choices. If anyone has any doubt, then please join the live session for them. Hello, ma'am. Hi, hi. Hi, hi. hi. How are you doing? I'm good. How I'm good. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you. So, ma'am, please introduce yourself to the audience. Yeah, myself. Yeah, my myself is Rivedi. Rivedi. I have done yeah. my bachelor's in pharmacy. Yeah. Right now, I'm pursuing my PhD in pharmaceutical yeah. analysis. And out of the zone, I have done my master's in the field of forensic pharmacy, that is MS Forensic Pharmacy. Okay, that's awesome. So, let's come to the point that we are here to discuss. So, yeah, yeah, sure, how definitely. College admission process of the NSFC college, like starting. So, admission is like uh, wherever the notification comes for the admission, it's very easy. You just uh, fill the form that is available online in, in the official website of www.nfsu.edu.in and you can select each and every field like uh, if you want to take admission in nanotechnology, you can go for nanotechnology. If you want admission in the field of pharmaceutical, you can have PCI approval, pharmaceutical quality assurance as well as you can go for toxicology and NDDS that is novel drug delivery system. Another fields for the same are chemistry. That is uh, nanochemistry as well as biochemistry. Uh, nanobiotechnology is also there and nano forensic science has also been there. So the way uh, to process for the admission is very easy. So you just go fill the form. After that your interview will be there. You will be selected and you will be uh, whatever uh, based on your merit. Your admissions can, can get be confirmed in our institute. Okay, okay, that's great. So, in the masters, all students have this one question, like how to select this project. So, what do you will suggest the key points to keep in mind before choosing the project? Okay, so first of all, while uh, deciding the project, one should be a very uh, precise thing should be in your mind. That is the ongoing uh, scenario in the field right now in the field of pharmaceutical first thing the second thing you can take those parameters or those things in mind that whatever you want to for example if you want to work in the field of biotechnology or you have to work in, in the field of pharmaceuticals using biotechnology then you can go for the sensors you can prepare sensors for the same so you have you need a precise small idea and regarding that you can go for various kinds of different applications in the field of pharmacy so, how was your experience at the college like? Uh, my experience was like the campus is very much keen. It is very friendly environment has been there. So, in our university, actually, we have a, what, what we can say an environment like unity in diversity. So, from various parts of India, the students comes into the college, right? We, we also have NRIs in our college. So we have different, different kinds of unity in people, different, different languages. We just 
uh, get some knowledge from them we give we share knowledge to them even faculties they are very friendly they just share their whole kind of knowledge with us uh, if we are having any kinds of errors any kinds of doubts we can go to them and they are very much uh, we can say helpful to us so that is the pretty much friendly environment in the university okay okay that's awesome like it should it is like university in diversity yeah it is uni uh, university in diversity actually <laughs> we actually celebrate each and every festival in our university not ours on also even south indians are there so we celebrate their festivals also we gujarati celebrate navratri then we also have uh, ganpati in our university we celebrate pongal we celebrate annual fest we celebrate teachers day so these kinds of activities are also been there we also have some kind of sports activity so that uh, the environment remains friendly and free for students also and no kind of any kind of uh, the we can say that any serious issues in the university it should be like that only balance all the parameters yeah 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 each and everything is been balanced and we have a, we can say by uh, activities also and in the field of education also we have the similar action in our university that's pretty awesome so coming to the last question like what is your advice for the first fellow students who want to pursue csc or after the master and okay. how decide that the uh, phd is like necessary or not because there is a lot dilemma is seen in the students see phd is necessary or not that is not that is a very vast question right now so uh, students generally get confused that whether they want to pursue uh, uh, any kind of job or they want to study more or what kind of profession they join after the pharmaceuticals so there is very thin line between a job and for phd it is based on you if you want to go in the field of research if you want to do something related new you need some kind of new i uh, terminologies or new concepts in life so you do phd otherwise if you need certain kinds of financial uh, support for your family if you want that you should be financially stable in your life then my advice is to go for job so it is very much uh, i can say in a dilemma question that what should you join it is surely based on your wish on your background so what you want to do in future as well as see for i want i being me i want to do phd just because i want to be in the field of research i want to go for i want to study more about the same projects or i can i want to learn some more new concepts that's why that's why i've joined phd but if being a masters student and if i want to be financially stable and i want to do certain kinds of industrial work then i should join any kind of industry i should do job regarding it so that is my, uh, that is the idea of mine uh, being a masters student or to do an uh, further studies or not that's pretty awesome answer like full clarity on thank you so, so much <laughs> yeah So thank you so much, ma'am, for joining and sharing your valuable experiences. Most welcome, you. most welcome, dear. Hope you enjoy the session. Yeah, yeah, I definitely enjoyed a lot. Thank you, ma'am. Most welcome. Yeah. Bye, bye.